just glad that finally. I know you're close. I feel you tickling my britches. Goddamn Chinese <laughs> man. Tell me this map will have treasure. of you oh god help me okay girl you take care now
Oh, I really need your help, Fran. Again. Yeah, I know. Listen, I know what this looks like, but uh, you've got to help me out again. Now, come on, please. please. Yes. Relax. Oh, again. yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, friend, I'm about more broke than last time, but, well, I heard something you might like. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh, I look like a thief or something? Or something, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd keep out of sight a while. Seems like you're a prime target. You said it, friend. Come on, girl. Yep. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage.
Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning, when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again.
did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sounds good. All right. Come, have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> Well, at least you're a happy drunk. <laughs> Happiness is important, Arthur. Well, I'll leave you to your important work. Uh-huh. Gotcha. There he is. Arthur Morgan. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just a swift one? Well, it's your life, not mine. You got it, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. 
When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Hey there, girl. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side, Arthur. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time hey! we were here. More what than... kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Howdy. Ah. Yeah, you got a problem. What's the problem here? Ah. Here we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. 
Mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? My friend, you know where we went? Don't ask me. You seen that fella I was with? Afraid I don't know. You know which way my friend went? Oh, sorry. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? You all right there, Slugger? I think your friend went upstairs. Lenny, where are you? your mouth, mister.
years. Not you again. Hey, boy. Morning to you. Morning to you. It's nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. 
a little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, not that I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Uh, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh. And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambottom, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.
Hey there! Hello there. Hey, mister. Howdy. Will somebody help me out? I was in the army. Uh... Hello, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, mister, mister Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he once beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got yeah. designs on us. Hey, mister. Just minding my own business. You want me to set you straight, huh? Okay, there. Who's this, then? Get out of here, now! Spread the word. The O'Driscoll's are here. You get yourself in jail, huh? Good. Now I hope you learned your lesson and start behaving. Hello, gentlemen. Oh. Sir. <laughs> nice to see some friendly faces around here. Oh. Anyway, folks, please don't mind me. What'll it be then? <laughs> hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yeah, that's right. More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. <laughs> sure seems that way. Hey, move it already.
Ain't Hello. this a pleasant surprise? Yeah, so, uh, how is it in here? Oh, the bed is as soft as a fluffy white cloud, and the food is magnificent. Why, this jailhouse is far more comfortable than any fancy hotel in San Denis. How do you think it is, you idiot? It ain't tarnished your charm, at least. Esther? Hey. Oh, do you have the time there? Okay, thanks anyway. I'll see you around. Okay, my girl. 